Previously on Heavy Rain. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. I'm just trying to think of the legal actions that are about to happen here. Oh, I can just leave. No, no, I'm not leaving. <laughs> not leaving. You have three minutes Le left. No, no, don't leave. No, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> don't even care if I hit people. Just gonna power drive right through them all. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. Beep boop, beep bop. Excuse me. Sometimes robot beeping helps. All right, welcome back. Another episode of Heavy Rain. You guys, uh, I know you're waiting. You're waiting all week for, <laughs> for another episode of this this garbage. Uh, not not a garbage game, but a, I'm I am I am garbage. Um, as you might remember from last time, we were asked to uh, <clears throat> excuse me asked to cut off our finger, and I accidentally left the room without cutting off my finger. Um, so you can expect that and more in this episode. Uh, so let's see what's going on. We were previously on the run from the police. Uh, this guy. Oh, I forgot. He has like a, a VR system. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez. What am I supposed to be doing? L L2? L2? R2? Oh, I got one. <laughs> one out of four isn't bad. <laughs> um, the magic of this playthrough is I forget how to play the game um, every episode. Da, da, da. Da. Da, da, da. Jeez. They're really throwing me into the ring on this one. I don't have the PlayStation controller memorized, unfortunately. I'm doing my best. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you crying to yourself in the corner of some club with your VR goggles badly you playing piano? <laughs> it must be Thursday. Thanks. Thursdays are always rough. You, you are the only person fine, here. If you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Is he still playing the piano? He's still playing the piano. Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. He's innocent to prove guilty, guys. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. That is a stretch. Mars is not the origami killer. That's not what you see my life on it. Oh, all right. He's serious. Then who is? Is it you, Mr. Redcoat? Coat? fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. Wow. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Wow, what a suggestion. Review the evidence. You should be a oh, detective. One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. The piano? Very Don't overindulge in the piano? I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. Too much piano. It it, it, piano's a gateway drug. I always knew it. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. Pianos are heavy. They can kill you. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Thank you for your concern. Um, if you're so concerned about my piano habits, why do we ha have a piano in here? Maybe we should get rid of this dangerous instrument. It's an option. You know, you gave me the good idea of investigating the evidence. I'm giving you the good idea of chucking the piano out the window. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we are on a distant planet now, somewhere in VR land. Um, just tip-tapping away on our desk. Uh, let's, let's look at the clues, I guess. We're gonna look at some clues. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording well, well. from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. You never know, indeed. Indeed. Maybe we'll see a piano in the background. Uh, can we view it? Analyze? Gonna analyze this bad boy real quick. A lot of cars zipping by. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. Uh -huh. Went in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? No, we'll, we'll make note of that. Put a, put a pin in that one. Put a pin in it. Uh, let's geolocate. No data. Okay. All right, this is uh, this is going swimmingly. Okay, what's the? I think that's all we can do here. Uh, next, what's next? We got some tire prints. Let's analyze those bad boys. 
matches the car that we just looked at. Tires, it's a brand, it's a Chevy. Probability 96%, okay. Any geo location on that? No. Why is that option even there? We can't use it, okay. Um, next, we have, oh, no, other way. Other way, there we go, come on, one more. There you go, uh, origami figure. This one's a little dog, it's like a little doggy. Paper, cotton, resin, okay, blah, blah, blah. I doubt there's any geolocation on that. Oh, look, there's geolocation on the origami. Great. Okay. Not the car or the tire tracks, but a little doggy, paper doggy, for sure. Let's geolocate the heck out of that. Is this an actual flower or an origami flower? I think it's an actual flower. Orchid. Okay, and this has a location of everywhere. It is, it's a virus throughout the city. It is rampant. Okay, look out for orchids and pianos, everybody. Those uh, are the lessons we've can't learned see today. The driver's face. That's a pity. That's a nice car. That's a nice Chevrolet, though. You know, if gas prices weren't so absurd, I wouldn't might wouldn't mind uh, driving a car like that. The All car right. was stolen. Let's see. Stolen. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Is the car still stolen? It's been reported stolen. Maybe we should go get it. Okay, well, no data. Okay, we don't know where it is. No idea. Okay, so we only know where to find origami and orchids. Um, oh, there's an ID card. What is this? Jackson Neville. The suspected thief from the car? Jackson Neville. AKA Mad Jack. Mad Jack. Involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. Hmm. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Alright, alright, so we're gonna look for uh, Mr. Jackson Neville. See if we can track down his uh his records of who he sold the car to. I'm sure he keeps very meticulous records of stolen cars. Uh oh. Got ourselves a nosebleed. Don't don't oh, go for the piano. Thing, Are we in Skyrim? You should be careful not to over in We're in this we're in the VR system Fair without the VR. Dangerous. Shit. It's it's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some. Go away. Well, maybe we don't take some, as the man in the red coat resist. advised us. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. Uh huh. Okay. We appear to be fine. Do I have to fight? He's he's gonna walk towards it by default, but I have to fight him. Okay. Guess I'm gonna fight. Try to resist. See how this goes. I'm gonna... No, no! Oh, he got too close. I uh, throw it, throw it away. Rid of it is the only way. This is going in the toilet. Okay. Here we go. Down the drain. Once the drain comes back into view. Drain. Come on. Come on. Why is it so? No. Get back over. Toilet, come back! Jeez, first it was the piano, now it's the disappearing toilet. Come on. Come on. Where's the toilet? Where's the toilet? <laughs> the toilet never came back. Oh no, he took it. Uh, Alright. Well, I lost that one, apparently. I tried. I tried my best. I tried to throw away the, the bad, bad pixie dust, but uh, the toilet vanished and I was transported into Skyrim somehow. All right, Thursday, 11, 10 a.m., 3.332 inches of rain. These are nice typewriters, antique clocks. Wow, reminds me of my grandparents' house when I was a kid. Manfred? Manfred! Manfred? Manfred! 
I forgot about Anybody this lady. Home? This lady that we're with? I forgot she existed. Alright. There's a lot of ticking and talking in here. How does how's the store owner not go mad with all the ticking talking? Alright, we, we looked at a cuckoo clock. Wait, oh wait, hold on. We did not take note of the time though. Does it say the time? See this says it's like 2.55. I believe that's what it says. Is that right? I don't think that's right. And I got some typewriters. Uh-huh. They all, they're all seem to be QWERTY keyboards. Alright. Nothing unusual. What's up here? More... Oh my god, that's a lot of typewriters. He's got a lot of typewriters. He seems to specialize in typewriters and things that go ticky tacky Um, that's it. Oh, there, he's actually back here. Before I go see him, can I, uh, take a look? What's going on back here? No? Guess not. Alright. Manfred? Hello? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. Who is this guy? How long has it been? Why well, are we seeing this guy? About ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Uh -huh. How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's, uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. Does it? I'm just the thing. What is this? Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. So, I, he seems to be hard of hearing, and possibly hard of seeing, which is why he hasn't gone insane from all the TikTok stuff. The phone is ringing. He probably doesn't even hear it. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Okay. Alright, let's put on our customer service voice. Hello? Hello, Ticket Talking Emporium. Yeah, this, this is, is Tick. Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. All right, good job. You you've survived your first retail experience, and nobody yelled at you. That's rare. Uh, okay, he's just standing here with a bottle with a thing of scotch. I guess we will uh, well, join him. To old friends. Yeah, to old friends. Sure. I didn't even realize he had friends. Maybe the game mentioned it, and I just did not pay attention. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address. Oh, on the it. typewriter. Okay, yes. Now it's coming back yeah. to me. Let's have a look. Now it's coming back to me. Yes. Okay. Could you she got she got a letter typed with a typewriter. Magnifying glass from behind the counter. Oh, sure, please. I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Oh no, poor guy. He seems really nice. Really nice, but also really old. Maybe he should have retired 20 years ago or something. Uh, but hey, if he's enjoying what he's doing, cool beans. I'm trying to walk and failing at that, so, you know, he's got one up on me. Thanks. You're, you're welcome. Let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Wow. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Wow, okay. He knows his stuff. He, he knows his stuff. Uh, is it rare? These typewriters, are they rare? Oh, just typewriters no, in general. No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Mm. Probably true. 
I remember I first learned how to type on a typewriter myself uh, before there a computer. Many places around that could prepare one of these? Fun fact! I remember I clicking and clacking on that typewriter all day and getting it jammed up with paper. Spare parts for assault My mom was pretty mad. In uh, 64. Well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> well, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Uh -huh. You keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> <laughs> Any all chance right. I could get a peek at that? Fair enough. Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help wow. us out. This guy, hmm. he's really bending Do over I backwards to help us. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. All right. Don't don't strain yourself. We don't need you, uh, you keeling over been here? just now. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Hopefully it's not a big list. Alright, so what are we... Are we just moseying around now? Just touching things? Just touching antiques? Oh, is that a little... Is that a little bit of blood going down her neck? On the, the figure? The smiles in this game are pretty creepy. I know this game, this is an older game. The smiles, they kind of set off my fight or flight reaction, and most of the time it's just flight. I want to get the heck out of here. Um, he said two minutes. Is that actual two minutes? I don't want to. Since Manfred went into his office, don't want to. I should take a look. Accidentally uh, leave again, like I did last episode. Oh, this clock. Uh, yeah, okay, so time has progressed a little bit. What, what was the time before? Like 2.55, I thought? Eh, who knows. Manfred, are you still alive? Please don't die. You're the nicest person Hello? I've met in this Manfred. game so far. Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? How did that happen with no noise? Oh, because of the cuckoo clocks. Oh. Oh my god. Why does the nice god. old man have to die? Oh, god. Did he just fall over? Did he fall over or something? Is this... It's open. Broken window. Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Uh, grab the records if they're available, and assuming the other guy who did the the killing didn't take him watch the front door i'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in we better work fast oh god the police are going to be here any minute touched can i remember everything we've touched all right what are you doing lord if someone comes in we're going to be in trouble these are manfred's account books he must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed forget it we got to get out of here fast Okay, well, she's she's gonna be looking. I'm gonna be wiping stuff down. All right, so I remember she touched the the doll. Where did the doll go? Doll? There it is. Doll, come on, face the doll, please. Face the doll. There we go. Wipe, wipe it down. Just wipe that down. No prints there. We also touched the phone and the magnifying glass. Magnifying glass and the scotch. We touched the scotch. We're just cleaning everything. This is now just a cleaning simulator. There's going to be DNA on that too, huh? Um, just clean all the glasses. Just in case. You know. I hope we have time to clean everything. Magnifying glass. We definitely touched that. Definitely touched that. And we'll 
touching it again. Right. Okay, we didn't touch the bottle, so we can get out of there. Let's, let's get the phone over here that we picked up earlier with our nice customer service voice. Okay, what else did we touch? We didn't. We looked at the clocks, but we didn't touch them. Um, and we, we came back here and touched them on the shoulder, but we didn't actually touch anything else. That's it? We didn't... Oh, we touched the window. We touched the window. That's right. Yes. Alright, did I... Did I get them all? Scott, are you going to be much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. I think... I think we are finished. We didn't go in here at all. We just faced through the wall a little bit. Don't mind about that. So we looked at the cases, but we didn't touch. Uh, I think we're good to leave. We're going to leave. It. We're done. You get all the prints? Uh, yeah. Except the door. We didn't wipe down the door. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. But come on, let's go. Okay. Well, hopefully that was good enough. Oh, did we not get that phone? I thought... Oh. Oh my god, we didn't get that phone. Because that's the one he hung up. Whoopsies. Alright. So... Never claim to be perfect. You claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. Oh, man. We're stuck in here now. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his money. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? All right. Well, I messed up. Not, not the first time. Nobody should be surprised by that. All right, a few hours have been wasted, unfortunately. Well, well, Scott Shelby trouble again wrong time wrong place you know what it's like don't sweat I'll take care for old time's sake thanks Carter I owe you one all right so well, they have a connection. The moment? well I got some ideas nothing concrete well, if it goes beyond me Idea stage. You tell me about it, will you, Scott? Mm, sure. Sure. I don't know, I'm not comfortable working with this guy. Okay, well, I forgot to wipe down the other phone. I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. This isn't a game. The oh, that's off. the wrong button. I changed the rules. That if was like the wrong it or button. Not, you're going home, and I don't want to talk about it. That's it. Well, I did not mean to be rude. I meant to I hit uh, right. the nicer I know what option. I need to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Great. Uh, oh, annoyed. I, none you're of those were good. You're going to be a good girl. You're going to go Whoa. home and let me get on with my investigation. Whoa. Yikes. Oh, jeez. Yikes. Okay. Jeez, all the options I'm trying to do are not working out for me because I can't hit the right freaking button. You almost totaled a classic car, lady. I'd be more upset about that. Sorry, I meant to be nicer than that. I hit the I hit the square button instead of the circle button. They they're next to each other, I'm sorry. Uh, this Lord? little stubbornness of yours. She doesn't let up, with or without me. She take her back. Just, just get her she back in the car, okay? Her, Be nice about it. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. She's just standing there in the middle of the road in the rain. What is she doing? Okay, let's go. 
don't let her don't let her walk away just because yeah. I accidentally hit a button. Lord, you okay? Everything? Oh my god! Miss him so much. Jeez, the the rain. It's kind of terrifying. Do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Okay, um, sorry. Make sure I hit the right I'm button sorry. this time. I shouldn't have talked to you like that. No, that was an accident. I, it's just that I do apologize. I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Okay, we've calmed down. Calm down. Okay, let's let's get a drink of water. Everybody at home, get get your drink of water. Let's just stay hydrated. <sighs> yes. Okay. Deep breath. Oh, we're back to back to Mr. Mars. <clears throat> Thursday, eleven fifteen a.m. Three point something six six inches. He has a gun. His last clue was: Are you prepared to kill somebody to save your son? I don't know if I'm prepared to kill somebody, <clears throat> if I'm honest. Wow, that was a quick little, bup, bup, a quick little knock. Yeah, what do you want? Ugh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on, beat it. Huh? No? I tried hitting the button, didn't quite work. Oh. He doesn't have the gun in his hand? Okay. What's gonna happen here? Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I should get out of here! I guess we're hitting the You're button a lot. I'm hitting the button a lot. I don't like trouble. Fuck off! Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. What do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal. A gun huh? is a ranged weapon. You don't need to stand three inches because that happens. Yikes. Alright, now we have quick time events that I'm going to fail. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, there goes the guitar. Jeez, he's not very good at aiming a shotgun in close quarters. Alright. Well, now, uh, now we gotta shoot him, I guess. Oh, well, I guess that was the wrong time. Okay. Jeez, oh, I'm barely making these quick time events. Oh, there we go. Where is he? Where is he? Waiting. Oh, oh. he never showed up. He got me. He got the drop on me. Out. That was a lot of shots you just fired. Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. <laughs> got dope? Got cash? You, you want some dope? Now he gives up again. Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. He's my girl, see? This well, one, he had Sarah, a picture on hand. And a little one. That's I don't want to kill you. I really don't. Please, man. I want to see them again. At least now you're standing Please. a little bit further away. Please don't shoot. <laughs> what happens if I just don't do all the things that the game wants me to do? What? I, I really don't want to shoot this guy. I think I'm not going to... I'm not going to shoot this guy. I'm going to... I'm a father, too. But I'm no killer. Okay. All right, maybe there's hope for you yet. He wanted a picture, right? Maybe we just take a picture of him unconscious and maybe that'll count. Was that the right choice? I mean, morally, I think so.
I think that was the right choice. Okay, Thursday, 1.32 p.m. Matt, three, it's Sam. One, four, three, four I got inches. your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. Does she have an He's informant? He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Uh -huh. Talk to you later. Someone named Sam's helping her. What? This woman, I'm, I don't know what her motive is. Like, she's just, she's helping us out. The but owner why? of the apartment where Ethan was supposed to cut his finger lives here. Not much of a leap, but it's all I've got. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe we can ask him if he's in the business of having people cut off their fingers. Maybe that'll go well. Uh, hello? Can I, can I come in please? Oh. Hello? Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Vitropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Nope, please. Uh, hold on. I need, I need the I, pills. I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. All right, well, now, after that response, I'm a little uncomfortable. Okay. All right. He locked the door. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much yeah. do you need? Yes. I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would that you sounds like a, drink? like a lot. Three or four boxes? Uh, no. No, thank No, thank you. Uh, well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? No, the pills anyway, aren't giving me the edge here. It's more you. First deal. Uh huh. Sitting down on the fancy couch. That couch is made for that corner, though. That's just the perfect angle. You can't put that couch anywhere else except that one spot. I don't know if that's convenient or not. You can never move into a new house with that with taking that couch with you. Around here before. Who told you about me? Subscribe for more couch talk. <laughs> uh, it will invent something. I met a guy at a party. He popped some betropin. Told me he got it from you. Uh, okay, now that we've, you know, got I him off our you scent. Had some apartments for rent. Let's get him back on our I'm scent like again. <laughs> Asking about the suspicious apartment. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. But this is an awkward, really awkward silence going You're not on. not drinking? I'm not fully comfortable. Uh, no, I'm not drinking. I am, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I was just drinking the rain outside. I'm quite, um, I'll get hydrated. I'll prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. Jeez. See, this is... This is what I look like when I'm like at a party. I'm just sitting on a couch. Look around to see if I can find anything before I get Awkwardly back. sitting by myself, hoping that a cat will come by and I can pet the cat. Doors locked. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. Make up some lies. Okay. Like what? What kind of lies? Yes. Okay. Well, door number one, the left door. Oh, I was supposed to do that a little quieter, wasn't I? That was nice and loud. Well, we're, we're going for it anyway. We're, we're too far in. Blue Lagoon, okay. All right, we got a Blue Lagoon. Can we get a Blue, what the heck out of here? All right, he's gonna be so mad. He definitely heard us get in here. Surgical gowns? Uh-oh. I thought he stopped performing operations. 
must be some kind of a weird nostalgia yep, for the he, past. He just dresses up for Halloween. Man, I'm really stressed out now. Okay, now let's carefully open the door. Okay, that that one was better. Okay, um, okay, I guess we'll look through door number two. I I don't know what door he went into. I assume it's not either of these two. Nice and easy. Okay. Okay, I, I assume doing it slowly helps. No, we're in the bathroom. At least if he finds me in here, I could say, oh, I had to go to the bathroom. Unless he finds me looking at the pills. Okay. Uh, nothing in here. Nothing in here. No options to do anything. I guess I'm leaving. I guess that's, a, that's also what happened in there. I can't speak anymore. I'm so scared I can't even speak anymore. Um, there was a thing over here. By this desk. Yeah, down here. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Wow, that's, that's a lot of sleeping pills. That is, he's got like a whole bucket of them there too. You see that bucket just full of them? Jeez. All right, what about over here? What's what's over here? The doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Okay. Is there anything else I can look at? There's a fireplace here. Went into the two rooms. Got scared, left really fast. What's down here? I think he's down here, though. That's the problem. Hey, Doc, you good? Hello? Ow. Nosy little ferret. Ooh. We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. Ooh. Uh, yikes, okay. Well, this isn't good. All the alarms are going off ever since I saw the guy. And, oh my god. Ah, say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. Oh my god. So, okay. you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. Yeah. Is it for, for I rent? I to my friend Paco, if you must know. Paco? Oh, he sounds no like a nice guy. He does there. Oh, he just wants he fingers. That's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> oh, okay. To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. I but doubt screaming's gonna do anything in here. Chit -chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Um, is this covered by my insurance? Oh, no. Mm. This might sting it. Yikes. I don't think screaming's gonna do anything. Um... Oh my god. Not the knee. No, no. Just not anything. Not anything, please. As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. Now's the time to scream. Long. I, I did let out a little scream now that somebody's been there. Scream. 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 Trying to scream. Why can I not scream? Scream? Screaming isn't a thing anymore. Hello, sir. I come to bring you the word of the Lord. <laughs> oh, I got a foot free. Yes. In return for a contribution of only five. Right, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh. oh, boy, this could be. This could be dicey if I get it wrong. No interest here. We, the humble flock, should walk in his steps for St. John. I said, thanks a lot. I'm right. Oof. Okay. You gotta be. Come on. Come on. Work. There you go. Can we hold the X? We gotta hold it. Okay. Oh, jeez. I forgot about holding the buttons. Oh, he's coming. The doctor's coming. Oh, he's coming. 
Okay, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, I missed that. Oh, he threw the drill. Sorry, Matthew. Don't mind us. Yikes! Why is everything battery powered in here? Just take it wherever you want. Oh, that's a surgical hand. He needs that. Go for the surgical hand. Oh, we gotta hit that more. Oh, that was wrong. Ow. Oh, that was a surgical nose. He needs that too. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. Go for the, the surgical throat. Oh, oh, jeez. I hit the wrong button. Oh my god. Please, please don't die. You're actually kind of nice. Oh, she's got the she's got the saw now. Oh, he's got the drill. Oh, boy, old fashioned saw and drill off. Oh, oh, geez. oh my god! You guys are just spinning around in circles. Can you just hit him already? Again? Jeez! Oh, come on! It's hard to see some of these prompts. Oh no, she's not unconscious, is she? Oh no. Oh, is she awake? She's awake, right? She's just a little stunned. You can still. Yeah! There you go! Right in his surgical heart. He needs that. Oh. The doctor is no longer in. There we go. There's my catchphrase. Oof. All right. Well, Matthew from the Census Bureau and Dr. Dead over here are ready for pickup. Yikes.